Okay, here we have post trade moment number 53. You aren't going to believe this boo boo here. Heaven. This is incredible. In Noah's day, it was water that rained from heaven. In Lot's day, it was fire and brimstone that rained from heaven. Now, God has promised that he would never destroy this world using a flood again. But he will rain fire and brimstone on the day that the Lord Jesus Christ is revealed. Right after we have been removed from this earth, the same day fire and brimstone will rain. Uh, all you have to do is read Revelation 6 through 8, compare it to Matthew 24. Okay. Matthew 24. Could somebody please show me the word fire in Matthew 24? See if I can do this. Fire. Wait a second here. Uh, we must have gone right by it here. You see here, there's the word fire. Fire, 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 fire. Uh, Matthew 18, 8, 18, 9, 25, 41. Where's uh, raining down fire from heaven in Matthew chapter 24? Could somebody please show me that? Um, you, you don't think Steve Anderson would have just lied there, do you? Oh, uh, maybe he did. He said that the fire comes down in Matthew chapter 24 at the second coming. Really? Where's it at? And by the way, right after Matthew chapter 24, you have Matthew, Matthew 25, where Jesus Christ comes down to judge the nations. And he casts people into everlasting fire. But no fire is poured out on the earth. Huh. Do you think he maybe just lied to you? Yeah. Mark 13, it's, it's very easy to see that. Oh, it is. It's very easy to see that. Okay, let's look at Mark 13. Oh, oh, or, wait a second. Mark 9.49 through Mark 14.54. Oh, it's very easy to see that Jesus is pouring out fire at his second coming in Matthew 24 and Mark 13. Where's it at? Oh, oh no. I think we got a liar here. Now, another thing that's interesting about the story with Lot is that if you remember, Lot was told to leave Sodom, but he delayed a little bit. So what ended up actually happening is that God's two angels actually physically laid hands on Lot and, and grabbed him and removed him from the city. And the angels grabbed Lot and his wife and his two daughters, and they removed them out of the city. Well, that's exactly what will happen at the rapture as well, because in Matthew 24, uh, the Bible said... The story's talking about Old Testament Jews and Jews in Matthew 24 being removed. Is that yeah. after the tribulation of those days that God will send forth his angels and they shall gather together his elect. And so we will actually be uh, taken out of this world at the rapture, not, not via disappearing and we're gone. No, the Bible says that actually the angels will come and gather us just as... Let me, let me just talk here real quick about the thing of Enoch, which he mentioned in the last video. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. Um, now he was talking about here that uh, you know Enoch pictures a, a tribulation saint or something, you know, but he said that we won't, you know, we're not going to just disappear. We're not going to just disappear there. Well, uh, Enoch did. Okay, he was not found. Enoch disappeared. Therefore, people will not be asking, where is everybody? Therefore, it's nothing like these, these uh, popular films, Left Behind, etc., try to make it out. The day of wrath is the same day that we're removed, because we are removed just prior to God's wrath being poured out. Again, he lies. That's not what the Bible teaches. It's amazing. This guy just lies for a living.